Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, this is our fifth session for graphs. In the previous session, we have discussed uh, the graphs uh, when the origin shifted, right? We have discussed the graph of fx uh, to ff f of x plus minus a, and uh, we have discussed the graph of f of um, a times fx. In this session, we'll be looking for some more transformations or some different transformations. So let's begin the session now. Now, friends, in this session, we are going to discuss uh, these transformation. That is, when f x is transforms to f of minus x. or f of x is transform, uh, transforming to minus of f x, then f of x is transforming to minus f of minus x. Now, all these three transformations are very important. Just listen to me carefully or watch carefully. Now, friends, uh, when we convert f x to f of minus x, then exactly mirror image we have to see, right? Exactly mirror image when x is converting to minus x, right? f of x to f of minus x, right? Exact mirror image. Now, f x is converted to minus f of x, then you have to see water image, right? In this case, you have to see water as well as mirror image because x is being converted to minus x and further uh, minus of f x is also there. So, two transformations are there. there were, uh, that's why you have to see mirror as well as water image over here, right? I just take a simple graph uh, before you and then uh, we transform that graph. Just wait for a moment. Now, please just watch very carefully. This is the graph of f of x, right? This is the graph of f of x, right? Now, from this graph, I am converting this to f of minus x. Now, just watch carefully. This is the line and you can see the shape that is, uh, that is uh, changing or that is getting inverted along y-axis, right? This shape is converted to this shape. This small uh, arrow is coming this side. This bigger arrow is coming this side, right? That is uh, an inversion along y-axis, okay? So, this is fx. So, uh, for this fx, this is f of minus x, okay? This is fx. This is f of minus x. Uh, the inversion is happening along y-axis, okay? Now, this is fx and this is f minus of fx, now, friends, uh, uh, I just uh, wish to convey one more thing over here. If you draw this graph on a paper and if you see back side of the paper, right, if you just turn the paper, uh, you'll be able to see the mirror image of this graph, right? So, actually, f of minus x is the mirror image of fx. Be very careful about it. If you uh, really see this graph in the mirror, you can, you'll be able to see this image, right? So, f of x and f of minus x. f of minus x is the mirror image of this graph, right? Now, from f of x to minus of f of, uh, minus of fx, right? This is an inversion along x-axis. As it is, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, graph is turned along x-axis. You can very well see that. So, this is the graph of minus of fx, right? So, if you draw this graph on a paper and if you invert it, along uh, this uh, x-axis, you will be getting this. So, precisely this is what? The water image, right? Suppose this is T, so water image of T is like this. If this is A, water image is like this, okay? So, this is precisely the water image. This is mirror image, this is water image, right? This is a horizontal uh, inversion, this is vertical inversion, okay? Now, this case is what? Minus f of minus x. That means mirror as well as water image. First of all, we are turning it around along y-axis. Then we are turning it around uh, along x-axis. So, two types of inversions are involved over here. So, that is mirror as well as water, right? Just pause the session. See the conversions very carefully because these are very important. This is fx. This is f of minus x. That is mirror image. This is fx, that is minus fx, that is water image. This is fx, this is minus of minus f of minus x, that is mirror as well as water image. Okay? And uh, the important thing which I have uh, told you is that if you draw this graph on the paper and if you see the back side of the paper, you will be getting the mirror image of this graph. Right? So, that can be matched with this. Right? 
So that's important thing fx to f of minus x, fx to minus of fx and fx is to minus f of minus x. Right? So if you know this sort of conversion, any graph can be converted, maybe log x, maybe e raised to x, maybe any other any other graph. Right? So I hope you are getting me. Uh, you can uh, see some of the examples over here when fx is transforming to f of minus x the curve f of minus x is the mirror image of the curve fx considering y axis as mirror right so this is a mirror this is the graph of f of x then this will be the graph this is the graph of f of x the blue line then this will be the graph of f of minus x just an inversion along y axis okay you're just turning around the graph Okay, you can very well verify the same thing uh, by looking at the mirror. Okay, now here we are having the graph of y is equal to e raised to minus x. Now to draw the graph of e raised to minus x, you must be clear with the graph of e raised to x. This blue line represents the graph of e raised to x that we have already discussed in our previous sessions. Now x is converted to minus x. Now fx is what? e raised to x. So, f of minus x is what? e raised to minus x. So, what is happening? Here you have to take the mirror image, right? From f of x to f of minus x, it is converted. So, you have to take the mirror image of this graph, right? So, what will be the mirror image? You just turn it around along y axis. Just twist it, okay? Uh, I am sure you are getting me. It's this graph is mirror image of this graph, right? Suppose you have the graph of tan inverse x, that is this graph. Now, if x is converted to minus x, you can uh, just turn it around, just rotate it along uh, this y-axis, okay? So, you'll be getting the graph of tan inverse minus x. Doesn't matter whether it, whether it is tan inverse x or maybe tan inverse minus x, you just consider this as a graph of fx. So, this is the graph of fx and if you turn it around, you'll be getting the graph of f of minus x. Similarly, this is the graph of log x. Now, x is converted to minus x. You just have to take the mirror image of this graph, right? Very easy, friends. Once you are conceptually clear how fx is converted to f of minus x, uh, you can draw any graph, right? Any graph whenever it is converted to negative, right? This is log x. This is log of minus x. Now, log x graph is this. So, log of minus x graph will be mirror image of this. Right? Just turn it around along y-axis. Very, very simple. Now, suppose fx is uh, converted to minus of uh, fx. That means, in that case, you have to consider y, uh, sorry, this x-axis as a mirror and you have to turn it like this. This is like a u, you can say, and this is like a opposite u or we can say inverted u. Right? This is fx, this is f of minus x or you can consider this as the water image, right? If you just see this U in the water, you'll be uh, able to see this U, like the inverted U, right? So, this is what uh, the conversion or the transformation of Fx to minus of Fx, right? I take uh, some more examples. Now, here uh, we draw the graph of minus Ex, right? F of X is Ex and here we are drawing minus of fx that is minus of e raised to x. What you have to do? This is the graph of e raised to x. What you have to do? You just have to invert it along x axis, right? This is what the water image of this graph, right? Or you can consider this line as a mirror and uh, just invert this uh, along this side or this axis, okay? So, that is actually the water image. So, you have, uh, we have discussed e raised to x e raised to minus x and minus e raised to x, right? From this to this, it's a mirror image. From this to this, it is a water image, right? Now, the fourth thing is minus e raised to minus x. That is mirror as well as water, okay? I just show you that graph also. Wait a moment. Before that, we see the graph of uh, fractional part of x. The graph of fractional part of x is this, right? The, these purple lines, right? Now, if you have to take the minus of fractional part of x, you can just take them uh, their water images. Very simple. Or the, consider this as a mirror and take the images or uh, see the mirror images, right? 
I just take one more. Here I am having the graph of sin x. This purple line is the graph of sin x. Now if I have to draw the graph of minus sin x, what I have to do? I have to invert this graph along x axis. Right? Consider x axis as mirror and invert this graph. Or you can say this is the water image. Right? Now, this is fx transforming to minus f of minus x that is mirror plus water right I have already uh, told you this is um, I just show you once again this is fx that is uh, I just write f or uh, draw f of minus x lateral inversion or we can say horizontal inversion then this is minus f of x and this is first you or you can what you can do you can uh, take the water image of this so that will be minus f of minus x ok friends so in the case fx is transforming into minus f of minus x you have to take mirror plus water images right now here I have, one, uh, I have one example first of all fx to f of minus x this is fx and we are converting to f of minus x right now from f of minus x you convert uh, like minus of f of minus x so that will be the water image of this graph water image of this blue line this is the this purple line is actual graph of fx this blue line is the graph of f of minus x and inversion of this along x axis is the graph of minus f of minus x that is this red line right now here I take example of minus log of minus x first of all we are clear about the graph of log x that is this graph right now this is log x now x to minus x that means mirror image so we are getting the mirror image of this graph as this blue line so this is log x this is log of minus x now if we take the water image of log of minus x we will be getting the graph of minus log of minus x so just turn it around along x axis you can see this graph and if you turn it along this axis or twist it you will be getting this right just a one fold you have to give along this axis so log x log of minus x and minus log of minus x ok and if you wish to get minus of log x then you just have to turn this graph along this axis right that, uh, that you will be getting the graph of minus of log x so I hope you are getting me how fx is converted to f of minus x minus fx and minus f of minus x so if you are clear about the basics you can draw any graph whatever the transformations are asked you won't be uh, you will be able to do that ok now friends uh, let's discuss the graphical transformations uh, in case of modulus function now when what happens when fx transforms to mod of fx when fx transforms to f of mod x and when fx transforms to modulus of f of mod x right now let's read the steps carefully and then we'll be drawing some graphs also the graph of y of modulus of fx is drawn in two steps keep the positive part of the graph that is above the x axis as it is and draw the mirror image of negative part of the graph that the part below x axis considering x axis as mirror or you can say water image you have to draw right so I just take one of the graph first of all here I am having a graph of y is equal to sin x whether it is sin x or any other function we are interested in modulus of fx right so suppose it is the graph of y is equal to I am sorry if like fx uh, this is fx and now we have to find out the mod of fx right now the basic graph is that this uh, this complete line is the basic graph right that is the graph of fx that is sin x ok just so this is the graph of y is equal to sin x here you can see the blue line that is 
below the x axis the blue curves right so when we have to find out the modulus of sin x see uh, what exactly happening just listen to me carefully uh, when we draw the graph of sin x some portion is negative that means from pi to 2 pi this curve is negative 3 pi to um, 4 pi the curve is negative minus pi to minus uh, I'm sorry minus 2 pi to minus 3 pi this curve is negative right that means we are getting the negative values of phi but what happens when we take the modulus right now phi will never be negative right because whatever the values you are getting for sin x if it is negative then also this modulus function will convert them to positive right so phi will not be negative at all so what precisely we have to do from this graph the portion that is below the x axis is taken above the x axis that means what you have to do you have to take the water image of this graph right uh, or you can say inverted image so this these curves will be converted like this getting my point okay so what you are doing you are taking mirror image of these graphs so finally modulus of sin x the graph will look like this okay now you can see there is no negative part um, that, that means below x axis no uh, part of the graph is there that means y is always positive whether x is negative or positive y will always be positive right so isn't it very simple now suppose I wish to draw the graph of modulus of log x so first of all what we have to do we have to draw the graph of log x that is this that we have already discussed right this is the graph of log x right now this is the part of the graph that is below x axis what we have to do we have to turn it uh, uh, like invert it along x axis so you can see that this part is turned as this right the line is getting closer and closer to y but it will never intersect y axis right so we are taking this part over here or we can say the water image of this part is this or if we consider this axis as mirror then this is the mirror image right so this red line is the graph of y y of modulus of log x okay y is equal to modulus of log x graph okay it's very simple friends I take one more example we are having the graph of fx like this forget sin inverse x suppose this is the graph of fx then we have to cut the part that is below x axis and we have to take the water image of this or along this axis we can say mirror image right so this part is cut and it's converted like this just a turn we have to give along this axis right so this is what the modulus of fx okay now suppose uh, I have to draw the graph of y is equal to modulus of x square minus 4 friends we have already discussed the graph of y is equal to x square this is the graph of y is equal to x square now if we deduct 4 it will come 4 step downwards right so this will be the status right now after that the portion which is there below the x axis we have to take its water image right or along this axis we can say mirror image right so this is the original graph of x square minus 4 and the portion that is below x axis we are cutting it and we are just turning it around like this okay above the x axis as it is above the x axis right so this red line is the graph of y is equal to x square minus 4 so you start with x square then you go for x square minus 4 then the negative part or the part that is below x axis is taken above x axis as it is a single turn you have to give right so each and every step is clear over here getting my point uh, friends the remaining transformations will be discussing in the next session i hope you are getting me and uh, you must be enjoying the topic graphs as well so see you in the next session once again bye bye